22. This is our uh, first forge. It's uh, I don't know what day it is. October 14th. And uh, this was our evening project. Of course, we started off, I think, about 9 o'clock at night. Finishing up at 6. We had to let it cool down, or let it uh, heat up, whatever. We still got a little work to do the inside. It's raining like cats and dogs. That's a sidearm burner. About uh, looks like about five psi. Yeah, somewhere four or five psi. And uh, there's a little big dip in there. It's got a little blow on it. It's not hot. It's just got a little blow on it from the vein uh, down inside of there. We're trying to use up the last of this propane tank. Looks like we're working on it. But, uh, I wish you could see up in there. It just stuck this in there a few seconds ago. So, what we did is made a little, and we've got some bricks we can put in the front and close that front down even more. Now that's what that trough is for there. And that trough in the back, we got a little hole. You can probably see down in there. Yeah. We got a little inch and a half by two inch hole in the back where we need to stick some stock on through there a little bit. We can. We can pull that burner out and stick it in something else if we want to. We got a little collar right there. Slit that uh, pipe slides up and down that collar and that's a little that's a little over two inch pipe. And that's holding a little piece of two inch tubing down inside there so the whole thing slides out. We can adjust it where rubber we want it. I actually have a piano you know, there. But uh, yeah, I'd say that's success. That's what they call dragon bread. So uh, we've been working on squaring and tapering that down. Of course, you can't see it as far as the glow goes. But anyway, I'll see if I can figure out. Uh, how to work this camera so you can see what's going on. Alright, cheers. Our first forge. October uh, October 14th. What's up? Yeah, that's that's Mike Tide, right hand man. And the boys behind the uh the boys behind the camera. Alright, cheers. That better in there. You can see down in there that little hole in the back. And uh, yep, that's uh, looking square. All right, October fourth in the AM. Just got finished our uh, first first forge, breaking all the rules, I guess. Uh, got a little two inch wide by inch and a half hole in the back in case we want to slide some long stop through there. Got. Uh, sidearm burner coming in through the center. It's just made out of fire bricks with a uh, uh, um, shit, angle iron frame. And uh, let me grab this over here. We want to uh, put a uh, angle iron frame out here. Whoops. Wow. That uh, noticed it moving a while ago. That all fit earlier before we heated it up. Or that's a different brick. Let's see. Uh-huh. Okay. That's what it is. I'll have to grab one of those other bricks. And just a bunch of fire bricks. I got three across the top, three across the bottom. One and uh, three one long brick and a three quarter plus a brick going sideways in the back. Side arm burner with a MIG tip 1035 35,000 MIG tip. Um, and then I've designed that with a, a two and a quarter inch uh, pipe with a uh, no two two and an eighth inch pipe. Yeah, I know that's strange. 
with a two inch tube of tubing so I can actually slide that burner up and down. Uh, ooh, still hot. So you can see, you can see that you slide it up and down so I can actually pull that whole thing, pull this whole thing out of here and slide it into another. So all of my, all of my initial forges are going to be built with this size tubing. So I, I want to just use one or two uh, burners, although they're easy enough to build. I can just pull this out and stick it in something else because this may not last forever. But uh, so far, uh, we rushed it a little bit and we didn't wait for it to. Uh... Well, we, uh, let me get my tape measure. We put the material on there. We used a uh, do it all, uh, what do you call it? Do it all uh, furnace bit. Put on about a quarter inch layer in there. So. Got about a four and a half inch by four inch area on the inside, and it is, excuse my hands again, uh, about 12 inches long, plus a hole in the back if we want to push things through. Right now, I got a brick back there. But anyway, uh, we fired it up a while ago, and I mean, it didn't. We were running about uh, five psi and heated that piece of uh, half inch rebar up and tapered it down a little bit just for a heck of it and I tell you it didn't take but about I'd say about 35 seconds 35 to 35 seconds and it was already just about I'd say within 45 seconds it was ready to pull out and work but anyway we we're going to try some Mar uh, Maricoat uh, IR reflective coating on there and see what it looks like I don't have any other whip right now otherwise I'd do half in one and half in the other but uh, that's what I'd like to do didn't realize it but this heated up right here and bowed out just a little bit so did this one tomorrow I didn't realize that was gonna happen I'm gonna put a clamp on here and here pull this together weld me a flat bar right in here do the same thing in the back and that'll stop that I don't want anything moving moving around in there and breaking anything that we've gotten already we may do another little skim coat on the bottom, but we didn't wait. We just fired that thing. <laughs> I mean, we didn't wait hardly any at all. But, uh, yep, be forging some stuff here. Be forging a couple of pair of tongs uh, pretty quick. All right, cheers, everybody. Blacksmithing at Paddling Rafting Company.